Since the coronavirus, I have been unemployed, celibate, and living in my parents' house. Uh, they should call it COVID-14 because apparently I'm back in my freshman year of high school. Here's a little test. If I told you that a Star Wars movie was released to mixed reviews, Vladimir Putin was running Russia, South Park was on Comedy Central, The Simpsons were on Fox, and the United States president was getting impeached, what year would I be talking about? It's so 1999, the Knicks have stopped losing. Still don't believe me? Gas is a dollar, Will and Grace is on TV, and every woman in Brooklyn is basically Daria. It's creepy. We really are somehow in some weird 1999 time loop right now, man. This is great news for Carson Daly and Ricky Martin and Brandy, but for the rest of us, this sucks, dude. Only difference is this time, I have bills to pay, my dog is dead, and instead of being 10 pounds overweight, I'm 100. This disease is like a nonstop nightmare machine. This feels like I got caught skipping class and I'm grounded. This is, this is so much like my freshman year of high school, it's insane. I'm not getting invited to any parties. All I need are braces and acne. Maybe we should just all lean into it. Just embrace the fact that we're back in 1999, center part our bowl cuts, throw some sun in our hair, get eyebrow rings, and dig out our old Janko jeans from storage. I should try to log into my old AIM account and leave an away message. Party out my parents' house this afternoon. They're gonna be away five hours at Costco. This ain't no funky reggae party, $5 at the door. Keep it on the DL. JK, LOL, 143, D string, 5540, out. <laughs> that, was, that was my screen name, G string, 5540. Oh boy. Just make sure whatever the booze you drink out of my father's liquor cabinet, you replace with water so it goes back up to the line he marked, okay? And don't use anything other than water. I used witch hazel once because I didn't think he'd be able to tell the difference in the taste. I thought it was slick. Unlike what some people think, ingesting disinfectant is not good for you. <laughs> I almost killed my parents. True story. Maybe when we get out of quarantine, I can get jumped by 17 people from London Terrace at the St. Ambrose Carnival because I hooked up with the wrong girl. That was fun. Memories. Some more great memories of 99. My first real quote unquote girlfriend left me at the winter dance during the dance. The guy she left me for, true story, is now no longer even a guy. Freshman year. 1999. We can't go back to a time of chin strap beards, boy bands, and girls only being attracted to dudes who look like Devin Sawa. It's not a good look. I don't like it. It was a bad time for me. And this virus is taking me back to a very dark place. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. This COVID-14 is like the land before time. And instead of cool dinosaurs, we went back to a time of backwards red baseball caps I suddenly feel this existential urge to flirt with girls who dress like kelly kapowski play pogs all i want to do is listen to corn stained and dmx and m and and then wonder why i'm so angry and disillusioned all the time i feel a sudden urge to run sprints across my high school football coach's backyard while he screams at me that i'm a fat piece of shit that won't amount to nothing <sighs> the good old days I've been drawing six lines and turning them into the S's everywhere. Maybe when this is all over, we'll get our varsity leather. We can all walk around with COVID jackets together. I mean, 99 even had its own thing with Y2K. World was gonna end and there was all these problems. What was gonna happen? Y2K? It's eerie, I'm telling you. At least back in 99, the hardest part of my week was trying to find the strength to ask a girl if she'd wear my jersey to the game on Friday. Now I'll spend three hours trying to figure out how to apply for unemployment as a gig employee. You can't get unemployment insurance through the state of New Jersey because all your gigs are out of the state of New Jersey. But I live and pay taxes in Jersey. It doesn't matter. There's $8.5 trillion in stimulus and you get none of it. Meh. You're giving us all the worst parts of 1999 without any of the best parts. No crazy Britney Spears being pimped out by her greedy father. Mandy Moore isn't a scantily clad teeny bopper. She's a freaking mother on TV who only wears turtlenecks. Even Christina Aguilera has a higher BMI than me. This is horrible. This is terrible. It's not fair. I don't like it. I don't like it. Not fair. 1999 sucked.